Hey guys, hope you've been well. Today, the quest for the perfect tactical pan continues. This video is gonna be talking about tactical jeans specifically. So I'm gonna be comparing five different jeans, tactical jeans, what makes them tactical? I don't really know. I guess the companies are kind of tactical companies and the pocket layout and configuration and features. Anyway, I'm gonna call them tactical jeans, five different pair. They kind of range from moderately priced to what I would consider on the high end of the price point. So if you got an issue with the price, don't take it up with me. Uh, I'll talk about them if I remember them when I'm talking about each pant. I'm gonna to link to all these things in the video description below this video. So if you wanna pick them up, click those links, helps the channel sometimes. And yeah, if you guys know, if you guys follow my channel normally and watch my other tactical pants videos, you'll know that I get pretty detailed about a single pair of pants in a video. This video I'm gonna try and keep a little bit shorter and I'm gonna talk about five pairs, kind of the features, how I have them set up, what my EDC looks like in these pants, and yeah. Hopefully it's helpful. This video has been requested quite a bit for me to do a comparison video of a few pairs of pants. So today you're getting five. Let's get into it. Okay, so hope you're ready to see a lot of my crotch, maybe a little bit of my butt, but people say this is the best way to do pant reviews uh, from the feedback I've heard from you guys because you actually see it, see how the pockets work and lay out and all that stuff. Uh, I'll try and breeze through it, but I'm pretty long-winded, so we'll see how we do. The setup is basically, I'm gonna set up all these pants with my EDC, uh, how I have it set up, and just go through the pockets, the layout, the things I like, the things I don't like. So we'll start up top here. These front two belt loops are spaced apart adequately. I like that. This is a, I'll link to what belts I'm wearing uh, down below in the description as well. Uh, holster, I'm making cell holsters. This is the holster setup that I'm currently rocking right now, uh, and that works well. So let's go through the pockets. The things I really like about these, I guess I should say what model these are. These are the tactical distributor McQuaid jeans. They have this pocket here. You can probably kind of see the outline here. So it's a pocket in front of this main pocket. So there's full depth down there. I put my flashlight in here. You could probably, I wonder, maybe, you could fit a cell phone in this pocket. This is a pretty big cell phone. This is a Pixel 2 XL, but that's that pocket size. And then we have our main pocket, which I have another phone in here. Actually, this is an iPhone 10. I'll just be using this phone for size reference, iPhone 10 with a relatively minimal case. So that goes down in there. This pocket has plenty of depth. Uh, and then we have these magazine pockets, which I really, really love back here. So you can put other stuff other than a magazine in here. You have, you see this extra room. This is a pretty big pocket. I like that they are far forward, nearly at this kind of midline here. I love, this is my favorite magazine pocket orientation layout. In addition to the magazine pocket, we have a back pocket as well, which is pretty spacious too. We have the same setup with a magazine pocket and a back pocket over here. This pocket, again, same setup. This this little front pocket, I like to keep my Leatherman Skeletool and Sharpie pen down in there. And I'll link to all these gadgets and gizmos down below as well. And then the main pocket where I have my wallet, where I'm rocking a ridge right now still. And then also over here, we have a coin pocket. The coin pocket has a fair amount of depth. You see this is the Leatherman Skeletool going all the way in, basically right at the top. And that rounds out the pockets. The fly is nice, adequate length, good fly. These pants fit. Uh, they are on the baggier side probably of all the pants that we're gonna go over today. Uh, I wouldn't really call them baggy, but for those of you that need skinny jeans, these are not probably gonna fit the bill for you. I'm wearing them with the Altama Lowe's in Multicam. I figured I'm doing tactical pants, so I might as well wear tactical shoes. A relatively straight fit. Yeah, 32 waist, 30 length. I think these are a little long normally. So the 32 length, or the 30 length in these is about right. Normally I'm a 32 length. Uh, so yeah, material is nice. 
This does have some stretch. The waist does have some stretch, but it doesn't have a special stretch portion or anything. All of the jeans I'm gonna talk about don't have a special stretch portion, but if the material is stretchy, the waist is a little bit stretchy as well. So I think that wraps up the McQuaid. This comes in, I think at around $67, though it is oftentimes on sale. Great, great value. These are gonna be your cheapest jeans of the bunch along with the Tactical Distributor's standard ground jeans. These puppies are the Tactical Distributor's standard ground jeans. Back up a little bit, bud. These are the most comfortable jeans of the bunch by far, the most comfortable pair of jeans that I've ever felt. The material is super stretchy, which I'm gonna guess equates to, these are probably gonna be the least durable of the bunch, though I haven't had any issues with them myself. But most comfortable jean, we're gonna breeze through this because the pocket layout is very, very similar to the McQuaid jeans that we just talked about. Belt loops are nice. This one has a little multi-cam accent here, as well as, oh, the other side, here. Uh, so if you're into that, rad. If you're not into that, well, it is what it is. Okay, so pocket layout, like I said, is about the same. We have this little pocket in the front of the other pocket here. Uh, and then nice, pretty good size. These pockets, they feel just a little bit more shallow than the McQuaid's, but still adequate length. This is an iPhone 10, like I said, fits in there. And then the addition on these pants have these little coin pockets here, which are, let's see how deep. Here's a Glock 17 mag for reference. For depth, we have the magazine pockets again, back here, perfect, right where I love them, nice, up high, good to go. Back pockets again, pretty back, big back here. We have a same mag pocket over here, back pocket as well. And then the exact same pocket layout on this side. Change pocket, main pocket, and then this other little pocket. I really like these other little front pockets to put your stuff because when you reach in and out of your pocket, if you have a little bit of a sharp knife or something, you have this fabric separating your main pocket from this little front pocket. So it's kind of nice for that. And then we have the wallet back in here again. Fly is nice, big, adequate, good to go there. Belt loops, I forget if we talked about them on the other one. This one has a nice, big, fat center belt loop. And let's look at the fit, if we can move my dog out of the way. Come on, bud. There we go. All right, so here's the fit. Again, same pants. These do feel just slightly narrower than the McQuaid jeans, though they're still, you know, they're, they're I would say, a, I don't know, casual fit. They're not a slim fit. I wouldn't say they're really baggy or anything like that either, though. So here, yeah, standard ground jeans. Like I said, so highlights, maybe we should try and highlight some points. Multicam accents, very stretchy, very comfortable. Yeah, they're coming in right at about the, I think 67 or $68 price point, though again, tax distributor stuff goes on sale all the time. And these guys for me, 3232 fits just like I would expect a 3232 to fit. Next up, we have the 511, these are the Defender Flex Slims. They also have a straight model. I believe really the only difference is the slims taper a little bit at the bottom and the straights are straight through. These are I think the indigo dark wash or something so you kind of have that worn wash look. Though I feel like it's a little exaggerated in the camera. It looks a little more contrasty in the camera. I don't think it looks that extreme but I, I don't know. Up top here we have belt loops which are adequately spaced. I mean, I think they're a little bit close together but they're not too bad. Uh, and then let's get into pockets. So here on the left side we just have a single pocket. That's it. It's a little bit tight getting into but not too bad. Here's the uh, iPhone 10 comes up to here. So the pocket depth is adequate but not, not a huge pocket. No change pockets or anything else over here. We do have a magazine pocket over here. It is up very high. I believe it's the highest of the bunch, which means if you're gonna do something like I do here, I don't usually like putting my flashlight into the same pocket as my cell phone because I don't want it getting scratched up. So I usually try to separate them. 
So if I put my flashlight back here, it works. You know, I can sit and everything move, that's fine. But pulling it out does oftentimes hit my belt here. So that's something to note. But I do overall like the placement of these magazine pockets, nice and high and far forward as well, which I like. Some magazine pockets sometimes are a little bit further back, which I don't like as much. I like them when they're kind of as far forward as this seam will allow. So good job on the mag pockets, I think overall. Normal back pockets, kind of smaller. I would say kind of just like standard jean size back pockets. You got your same back pocket over here, same mag pocket as well. And then we have pocket, and then we have a kind of a standard change pocket here. So it is a deeper change pocket. So here is the Leatherman Skull tool all the way, all the way in to the change pocket. So that works out nice. Fly is adequate length, not too tiny or anything like that. Uh, and the fit is nice. These are stretchy as well. They are a pretty comfortable pair of pants overall. 32, 32 does seem pretty true to size. They might go, they might be on a little bit on the long side for me, I'm not sure. And like I said earlier, these are the slim, so the bottom is tapered. And I believe the straight, is not tapered. Uh, all right. I think that's it. Oh, I don't know. Belt loops. We got the double loop in the back. Belt loop spacing is good. Yeah. Comfortable, nice pair of jeans. Next up, we have the Triple Ot Design or TAD. These are the Intercept PD. These come in at, I believe, 135. So we're getting up in there to that high price price range. Uh, these, to me, uh, the just an overall, I think these feel like the highest quality pants, like the stitching and kind of craftsmanship. Uh, though I, I think they probably are the lowest on features. So if you care about very high quality and kind of like lower on features maybe, though not to say these aren't a feature full pant, they are just relative to the other pants we're describing. Uh, mainly because we don't have any stretch fabric here. So these aren't a stretch pant, so the waist isn't stretchy either. Uh, pockets, pockets are all right though. So let's kind of get into it. Uh, every jean so far, sorry, I forgot to mention it previously. Every jean so far, the belt loops are able to fit a 1.5 inch Cobra. These ones are pretty tight though. You kind of got to wiggle it through. The standard ground jeans are also pretty tight, but they will fit. This is a Black Scout Survival belt, by the way. Kind of cool. It's got these hidden hidden little pockets in the back here if you want to stash some little, uh, you know, escape and evasion tools or something inside your belt. So 1.5 inch Cobra, and let's get into the pockets. So we have kind of a reinforced little patch here for your uh, pocket clips. Has a nice OD interior, which I really like. Nice little touch, nice little accent. Here's the iPhone 10. So these pockets are pretty deep, pretty generous. Getting in is a little bit tight here, but nothing, nothing too crazy. You don't have to come in here with like the little two finger thing. You can kind of get your whole hand in there. We do have change pockets on both sides, a little bit lower into the pocket. And they aren't super deep. Glock 17 mag for reference. And then we have the magazine pockets up here. Oh, let's talk about belt loop spacing is good in the front, good to go. So then we have our mag pocket here, which is a little bit lower than the 511s at a pretty good height really, I would say, uh, and is up far forward towards the center line like I like. They are the tightest mag pouch of the bunch though, but does fit a standard AR-15 magazine in there if you want. In addition, we got the standard back pocket, which is pretty good size. Same back pocket on the right side, same mag pocket, and overall the same pocket layout over here. We have the reinforcement, and then we have the change pocket, same depth as the other side. Fly, now the fly is not a zipper fly. It is a button fly. These buttons are really nice. Got kind of your little tad logo type things on them. Uh, fly is adequate length, but again, I don't really feel like undoing all these buttons. Let's see though, there are one, two, three, four. Four buttons, I believe. A four button fly, well really a button on the top and then a three button fly. 
Here's the fit. They are not a slim fit. You know, I'd say they're a regular, regular fit and straight. These are 32, 32, uh, and I believe, and these are made, I think by, I think they say it's like the oldest mill in the US uh, that either shut down or is shutting down. So to get this exact pan, it's kind of, you gotta go now or never if you're into it. It is, you know, the high quality denim that, you know, will break in and wear out over time. And I don't know all this stuff. I didn't read the care instructions. You know, you're probably, you know, not supposed to wash it for whatever. All of these jeans kind of have care instructions that you probably would be wise to follow but I'm not gonna get into that. Some of them bleed when you wash them and stuff like that. I actually, I, I haven't even read those instructions. So hopefully the companies don't, don't get mad at me. I don't really have any light clothes that I'm worried about bleeding onto. So I personally haven't noticed any bleed, but I think some of these jeans do bleed when you put them in the washer. So just, you know, pay attention to the washing instructions. And that's it, a super high quality. Uh, these pants and the next pants I'm gonna talk about are made in the US. All the other pants so far have not been made in the US, but once we get up here into the higher price point, uh, these pants are made in the US. Again, great, great features. The only thing I would change probably is stretch. I like stretch, uh, stretchier pants and these aren't, so, you know, teach their own. Some people might not want the stretch and some people might. Next, we have the Oxcart jeans. These are the V2DX, I believe, and they're gonna be the most expensive pair coming in at 150. Uh, that's a lot to swallow, obviously, but probably, you know, if price wasn't an issue, these probably would be my favorite of the bunch. I would say, are they worth, worth twice as much as some of these other pairs? Uh, I don't know, that's for you to decide. But for me, they're my favorite pair. Uh, if I'm not if I'm not thinking about the price point, my favorite pair. They do have some quirks though, which we'll get into. Actually, we'll get into right now. So belt loops are a little closer together than I wish, though not the end of the world. This is one of these hook belts, the titanium edition that works kind of like this. I don't I don't love it, but the reason I'm showing it on this belt is you don't have to take off a buckle to loop it through. So that's the nice part. Every pair of pants up to this point does allow a 1.5 inch Cobra buckle to go through. These do not. So I would like to see larger belt loops in the future. Um, that's, that's, that's my main gripe. I wish the belt loops were a little bit larger. Uh, we do have them all the way around with a single in the back. These, like I mentioned earlier, are made in the US as well. Let's get into the pockets, which I really, really, really love. Oh, actually before that, so the inside little waist here is multi-cam fabric. If you're into that kind of stuff, uh, I am. I think it's cool. I think it's a nice little cool touch. So pockets. We have what I didn't even realize at, at the very beginning was a pocket. I thought this was just kind of some unique stitching patterns. This is a little pocket. So this is where I keep my flashlight up front. The pocket depth. Here we go with the Glock 17 mag. Is quite deep, this little pocket. So fairly narrow, but quite deep. And then we get into our main pockets, which also are hugely deep. Here's the iPhone 10. This is the top of the iPhone 10, all the way down here from the top of the pocket. So ginormous front pockets, which are nice, nice and easy to get into. These, this material is a little bit stretchy as well. Very, very comfortable. After the stand your ground jeans, these are the second most comfortable jean of the bunch. No coin pocket on this side, but we do have our magazine pockets here. Again, huge. Goes way down here. Here we have a 30 round AR mag stuffs all the way in. So if big pockets are your thing, these jeans got your back. Back pocket also a little bit larger than the rest I think. Same back pocket on this side, same mag pocket as well. And then we got our front little pocket here, which is where I put my Leatherman. The main pocket, which is the same depth on this one. And then we have a change pocket up here, which is a little bit smaller, kind of a, maybe a little bit bigger than your standard change pocket. Fly is another one where I do wish it was a little longer. This will have your shortest fly of the bunch. 
So belt loops I wish were a little longer, fly I wish was a little longer. These pants are unique in the fact that currently they only sell them in one inseam size. It's a 34.5 inch inseam. So I haven't got mine hemmed yet, so I've just been wearing them with extra length at the bottom because I don't care much. I am planning to get them hemmed, it's just I haven't done it yet. So if you can hem your own pants, no problem. If you want to take it to a tailor, no problem. Or if you're like me, probably I'll like take it to my mom or something. Uh, not really a problem, but something to note. You do, if you're not a 34.5 inseam, you are gonna have to make some modifications if you want your inseam to be proper. Though they do have a variety of waist sizes. This is a 32 waist and does fit me well. These are probably the next uh, narrowest of the bunch after the Defender, after the 511 Defender Flex. I think the fit is great. I think the style is great, the cut is great, and they're very comfortable. Uh, as you know, hopefully they should be at the highest end of the price point spectrum. So really great pants with a couple little quirks, made in the USA, awesome. I don't know really the history of the company. I, I, they're the smallest of these companies, I'm pretty sure, but making really good pants. If you can find them in stock, and if you're ready to pay that price. All right guys, that wraps it up. As always, I appreciate your thumbs up in the video. I appreciate your comments down below as well. If you have any questions about any of these pants, feel free to comment below. If you want me to re review a certain pair of pants or anything, really, I, I like comments, I like suggestions, I like recommendations from you guys. So if you have a pair of pants you're recommending, if you have a pair of pants you want me to review, let me know down below. And yeah, until the next video, I hope you guys are awesome. Oh, quick thing for you regulars. I think my next video, I'm gonna do the Christmas video. So tomorrow, today's Friday, and I'm gonna be checking my PO box for any stragglers. I don't have a ton of packages, so it'll be a pretty quick video, hopefully. But my Christmas video, if that means nothing to you, don't worry about it, and take it easy. <laughs>